Lunari Duskbringer. One mana two one. When I'm summoned, create a Dusk Petal in hand. Two mana two three. Lunari Shade Stalker. Nightfall grant me elusive. Nightfall grant me elusive. So it's like you really want to play this on turn two, right? That's where it's pretty good. Like we've seen Narwhal starting to see play because he's a two mana two three with elusive. I um, mean, you, you can still play her as a 2-3 in certain matchups. She's quite flexible. But to get her on curve, you have to dodge your turn one sometimes. This card is maybe not as bad as it seems at first glance. I think this card is okay. It has the elusive keyword built into it, and she's quite flexible in the fact that if you need to play a 2-3, you can. Not every matchup is relevant. And you can sometimes go off curve, and you sometimes miss your turn one play. Like, this might put you into a deck. I don't know that. Like, you might consider not playing your turn one if you have a certain spell. But you will need a cheap spell to activate alongside her. Like a gem. <laughs> or some sort of um, a tune combo. It's pretty hard to get this on turn two. But there might be some cards. There might be some cards. Crescent Guardian. I love the artwork on this guy. Three mana, three, three. On Nightfall, grant me plus two. And it has Overwhelm built into its kit. This is like a mini Basilisk Rider. For three mana. Only as good if you Nightfall it. Like, I mean, we can make a warning shot deck <laughs> just to get the Nightfall bonus. Ah, Nightfall is kind of strange. It really puts you into an awkward position in terms of playing off curve. Um, This Nightfall card out of the whole bunch so far seems okay. I guess I'm just, I might be thinking too positively about it. Like, it still dies to like certain removal. And like, the power of it would be playing it on turn three, which won't often happen unless you have a certain deck built around it. So here's a Dusk Petal. Dusk Petal Dust. The next unit with Nightfall you play this round costs one less. Okay. Okay. It, okay. This is going to be getting played. So this is what you get. This is what you get from the... um. Okay. Okay. I see it now. Okay. So you, if you're playing some aggro Nightfall deck, you're playing Lenari Duskbreaker in your deck. This is so you can play a Dust Petal turn two at burst speed and then play Nightfall units. I think now in the end, the most powerful card we're looking at is Lenari Duskbringer because of the Dust Petal. This is a great one drop all of a sudden, but only in a Nightfall deck. Whether Nightfall is good or not, this card is going to be getting 100% played. For sure. Lenari Duskbringer, playable. If Nightfall is playable, this gets played. So you have to be in Targon, obviously, for the Nightfall. So you might consider mixing up Targon alongside... Shadow Wiles to try and make some sort of aggro deck. This Dusk Petal can make some crazy things happen though for sure. And it starts to like combo your entire Nightfall for the turn. This is a great activator. Okay, I hear you. I see what you guys are doing. Okay, so all of these cards are so far, like out of all of them, like the main card we really want to be talking about in a bit more detail is, is definitely going to be Lenari Duskbringer. This is the card that's going to put Nightfall together. This is the piece that was missing. Um, if we were, if we're gonna make an aggro Nightfall deck, we're obviously going into Shadow Isles. We're obviously going into Targon. This is gonna be a three of no matter what. It almost has to be played because of the power of the Dusk Petal. Is it gonna be enough to make this some sort of S tier deck? That's where the excitement of the expansion comes out. This definitely brings up its potential, though. I will say this, this, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I gotta say that one mana card looks very exciting once again. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, uh, leave a like if you have time. Uh, consider subscribing. You can come check out some of my videos once the expansion releases. I'll be trying to get across as much information as I can about all the decks and what's popping at the moment. So you guys can expect to see plenty of my face.